I was watching one of your interviews, man, and you was expressing um, how, you know what I'm saying, your father passed away. Yeah. And it was just, and you was just like, you know what, after after this day, you know, after that day, it was like, I think I'm on everything moving. I'm surprised, you know what I'm saying, that day, you know what I'm saying, what you saying, you sitting here, it didn't really catch you, like, that day, like, you didn't just say, fuck it all, you feel me, and just go, start going ham, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. like, that, that, when you, when you was describing that, that shit was, that shit fucked me up, you know what I'm saying, because you was like, it was just so in detail, how that shit, yeah. how they did it, you feel me, everybody met at the house and shit, and you really watched that shit, okay, but I really watched it. So it's just like, damn, bro. You feel me? Like, and you was like, man, that shit, it still fucked me up and that shit still bothered me to this day. Like, mm-hmm. do you still put that pain in your music and shit? Yeah, that's staying in my music. I don't think I ever let that go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always rap about it. I'm always say his name. I'm always give it up for him because he was one of them ones. So it's only right that I do, you know, because he, he left a lot of us. You feel me? It ain't only me. You know, I got like 14 siblings, nigga. Half of them niggas that pulled up with me was my blood brothers. That came from him. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, was, that, yeah, yeah, that was a crazy story. Whatever, what, what happened to him, actually? Shit. From what I know and still to this day, you don't mind I ask on this, do you? I mean, um, you already did it. <laughs> 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 so I know he got an ass trans his motherfucker somewhere. Yeah, I need one. I don't want to dog that like that, bro. <laughs> and then you killing the bro. table. <laughs> my, my fault, nigga. My fault, nigga. Yeah. But shit, what happened to him? Well, still, from when I just fucked my pants up, I'm hot. I'm hot. That should have come out. For sure. Uh, he woke up one morning and I... I guess he decided to go get his car fixed. I don't know what, I really still don't know why he ended up where he was at. Like, But he was dropping his car off to go get fixed and he was with a girl. Uh, I don't know if she set him up, if she didn't, but just from how I see it and play it in my head, like bitches set niggas up. So he was on his way to drop his car off at Oz on like 112th Avalon. And he, you feel me, that's his hood. He from 112th Street, you feel me, neighborhood. Like, So he felt comfortable. But my peoples tell me that it, it, been a lot, it been a lot going on over there and that he was telling niggas to stay away from over there. Like, don't go over there. It's hot right now. Da, 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 da. But, but just one morning you decided that it was just, you feel me, cool that day to just go over there like he, but he was like that. So he ain't. He wasn't tripping, but he wanted everybody else to be safe. You feel me? Like, y'all, just stay from over there. You feel me? He, he felt comfortable. So he went and dropped his car off, him and a girl, and they get across the street from Oz, and they they going towards, like, Vermont Way. He was finna walk all the way to my G-Mile. So, uh, shit, as he walking, shit, he barely made it across the street. Like, in, like, five, six seconds, they say, the girls say, um, Two little niggas on a bike was riding, rolled past them. One nigga, one nigga riding a bike, one nigga on the pegs. He rolled past. He go in the alley. I don't know what he did. Make a call, say niggas, that's really him or ooh, ooh. I don't know why they rolled past him, but then just go for it. You feel me? They rolled past him because niggas was scared of him. Went in the alley, and by the time my daddy like passed the alley and was passing like that first second house going past. Uh, them little niggas came and started shooting from the back. And they say the girl say, um, like, he he heard the shots, but he didn't pay. You know, he be on shit. He, you know, when we outside and we on deck, because you see what's going on in the world. We checking shit like, damn, seeing, seeing who on what. But he, he they say it was some little niggas. So he wasn't tripping off no little niggas. It wasn't no niggas to where he, he didn't recognize them or nothing. So he let them go so he kept walking and then they start shooting at him and, they, and she say he turned around to try to see where the shots come from got shot in the chest and then turned around the rest of the shots was from the back from from up here down there type shit like he tried to run she run jump under the truck you feel me 
and he trying to, he get hit and fall, and he trying to crawl under there too, because it was a big ass truck. They both could have got under there. You feel me? I don't know what she was doing under there. She she could have been trying to put stop my pops from coming up under that bitch. We would never know. You feel me? Because it ain't on tape. I could just go with what I see in my head. You feel me? On some shit like, damn, what if she was doing that? Like, like, you feel me? What if she did say, why you ain't get shot, bitch? Like, not n- none. He got hit 16 times by himself. Like, so he trying to crawl under there, and he ain't make it. They stood over him and just, just ended it. Like, and then they say she asked him, like, you good? He was like, I'm good. And then he just left. And me and my little brother Barry, we was at school. We was at we was at uh we was at Audubon. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. And they brought y'all over to the house. Everything was, you know what I'm saying? They sold y'all the story. But just after that, living after that as a kid, did y'all, you know what I'm saying? Was you and your brother just like super on one after that? Like, did it, did it fuck with you? Like, did it? Did it make you a better person or, you know what I'm saying, or worse? Yeah. I mean, who I am now in a way, I take care of myself. I'm a different person, but it fucked us up. Fucked yeah. me up. Fucked my little brothers up. Yeah. Cause Man. It, it, it was fucked up, bro. Because he was really with us. He wasn't no nigga that wasn't with his kids. Like, nigga, we really loved it, that nigga. We didn't want to go home to mama. We didn't want to live with my mama. We wanted to live with Pops. And that's tight, man, especially coming from Los Angeles, California, where, nigga, a lot of motherfuckers ain't got their Pops. They don't. You and, know what I'm saying? Yeah, And you, I had yeah. to grow up without mine, too, though. Like, I got to 12 years old, and it was over with. From then, nigga, I had to, I had to do myself. To to just do. build on your own. Who was yeah. your fatherly figure after that? The, you know what I'm saying? Your brothers or the streets? Shit, my brothers. Yeah. My brothers, like. The streets ain't, ain't no, the streets ain't my motherfucking daddy. Ain't shit in the motherfucking streets, bro. So, With rap, you know what I'm saying, did you, like your first mixtape, you know what I'm saying, your first shit, like, with rap, do you, you feel like you, did you feel like you was the best? I always feel like I'm the best. I am the best. <laughs> I mean, shit, we all should feel like we the best, right? Yeah, If for we real. don't got confidence, what you doing it for? Yeah. Shit, I got confidence in myself. I know I'm good. I'm hard as a motherfucker. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe. Get us to 500K. Yeah.